is the cold breeze. Oh, look at that cold breeze mint. So we're gonna pop a couple of pieces of this in. And get this ramble going. I've got a couple of pieces here. There's another one. And then probably end up using that as well. I love that end of the flavour begins to uh, vanish or something. situations or anything like that. Your mental health is doing okay, you know, that sort of stuff. I just went through a period of having to pay a whole bunch of bills for several months <laughs> and it was like being punched in the bank account but it's looking a little bit better. Katie is ill again which is a lot of fun. Yeah, out of nowhere she was babysitting a friend's kid. I don't think the uh, baby was ill. <laughs> and she got it from it. Um, it hasn't passed on to me yet, fingers crossed. But uh, I am um, taking like first offence with just some like nasal spray. Put a few sprays up your nose a couple of times a day. And it's supposed to like stop you from getting ill before it comes. Oh, I've got a little spot there. It's not a cold sore, it's a spot. I started getting a couple of them around my, like my face down here. Sometimes I'll get like a little weird outbreak of spots. It's usually when it's um, it was a very liquidy <laughs> bit there. Um, I usually get them when I'm stressed. It's been a very stressful couple of weeks. I went to the doctor about my back. Uh, the physiotherapist don't, uh, does not believe it is a herniated disc, which is good. That is probably not something that is a lasting effect. And the reason it's happened twice is because my lifestyle changed. My lifestyle didn't really change much. In fact, it probably got worse, especially the last, uh, don't even know, like eight months. Um, yeah, so it's really down to that. When it happened the first time a couple of years back, I never went to the doctors about it. I should have done, but I never ended up doing it. At the time, I didn't because I wasn't registered. We were looking to move out, so I didn't bother registering in that time. And then when when we got away and moved from that, that place to the place we were living last year um, and the year before that, I did sign up, but I went about my neck, and uh, yeah, anyway, it, it cut a long story short, I uh, I never went to like, talk to anyone about my back, mainly because it seemed to have improved, I was having issues with it, because of that, I didn't like really, I didn't really know what it was that had caused it, so as far as I was aware, it was like a, a disc or something. Then, because of that, because I didn't know that, I really didn't go back to the gym or do any sort of exercises, etc. And, um, I'd been putting it off for a while. Anyway, yeah, that's probably part of the reason, lack of activity. But, I do want to go back to the gym. That's my, my goal this year. It says that you have to make uh, resolutions only in the new year. 
I'm going to be going back to the gym soon. Um, I've already started looking around for some places. Um, but obviously in doing that, I need to make sure that my diet is up to scratch. Um, I actually have like um, protein powder that I bought before we moved here. Um, I'm really sorry about the chair. I'm doing my best to figure out what's wrong with it, but it just won't stop creaking. Um, I just need to stop moving so much. Yeah, so I um, I might actually swap out the chair at some point when I do these videos. That might be how I move forward until I can figure it out. It's a bit inconvenient, but don't really have much of a choice. Um, anywho. I lost my training floor completely there. Jeez, tell me you have ADHD without telling me. <laughs>
it's made it easier because oh my gosh it's such a loud creak it's made it easier in some ways because there's less people to have to worry about going oh my gosh like i can't have about a million people being bridesmaids etc oh, oh sorry grooms groomsmen etc but um yeah i really thought these people would be at my wedding and they're not no they're not going to be so Anywho, moving off of that. Now I'm in a position where I'm trying to think about who would take on what position. Because I'm trying to think about all the different scenarios, right? Because uh, there are people that I want to make, I want to, to do speeches. Because some of them I think will be either like really funny, others will be um, really deep and meaningful. And uh, I want to give them all a chance. I don't really know enough about weddings, I'll be honest, I've never been to one, I wish I had, um, to really kind of get a gauge of, of how that works, but, yeah, I, I've never been to one, so I don't really know, um, like, can everyone do a speech, can I make all the groomsmen do speeches, is that something possible, I don't want it to just be a best man thing, but I'm looking at, like, the logic of it, who could be groomsmen, who could have other roles, um, and who do I want to help me, like, prepare, and it's really, really hard, because I don't know who to ask and who, <laughs> what to do, you know, I need 
to sit down and really think about it. I shouldn't. I need to dedicate time to research and thinking. I can't just do it off the cuff. But in addition to that, I need to like think about how I want to do that stuff. You know, Katie's doing like some boxes and they're going to see a card on the inside and uh, it's going to have a photo of the that person and her together. And I don't know, I want to make it a special you. I, I guess you get married once, right? You, you want to make it special. Oh, there's a, actually an invite card around here. I should have shown it. Actually, I can't because it has my address on it and I probably shouldn't do that. But I could cover that. Um, but it's hard if anyone listening has been married and has suggestions. I would be more than welcome to listen in. I don't like to half ass things, you know. I want it to be memorable and special. I don't want it to be something just... Like, oh, do you want to be my best man? I don't want that. I don't want to do that. One of them, I probably will have to because he's uh, working on a Disney cruise right now. I don't know for certain. He can't possibly be best man. Only for the fact that there's no way he can help. He can't plan. He's, you know, in a different time zone you know, on a Disney cruise in America working and probably will be for the foreseeable future coming in and out for like a month um, coming home if even that so it's really impossible but I want to give him like another role and get even suggested like him being the, the ring bearer in the sense of like bringing them up and stuff like that I think that would be quite a sweet idea I, w I think I'd, I'd like that yeah, it is hard. It is hard to think about who to do what job. And uh, I think part of it for me is it's hard to really sit down and think about it because, again, like, all I can think about sometimes is the people that for the longest time I would, I wanted to be there and I would have just assumed would be there taking on some of these roles, but, yeah, not to be, unfortunately, people come into your lives for a reason, teaching something we must learn, I think that's the words, I don't know, if you know that reference, drop it in the comments, alright, well, I just wanted to give a little bit of an update, have a ramble, chat about things going on. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I didn't even have a sip of my drink the whole time. Oh, not pleasant. Oh, not pleasant at all, okay. Not a good mix with the mint tea stuff. Um, anywho, thank you very much for listening in. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and uh, subscribe if you are not already because you've made it this far if you're listening and can hear this. If you're not subscribed, that don't make any sense. Get your finger onto the subscribe button right now and click the shit out of it. Actually, just click it once because if you spam it, you might unsubscribe and subscribe and unsubscribe, etc. Um, yeah, uh, you should go and check out some of the videos. Oh, I do it. Some of the videos appearing on the side of the screen, and I'll see you in whatever video comes next.